Friday. Do you know where your IT pros are? We don't. It's Patch and Switch. And now, two guys that you don't want building your house, unless it's made out of Lincoln Logs, is Patch and Switch. Do you remember Lincoln Logs? I remember Lincoln Logs. I like Lincoln Logs. I like Lincoln Logs. You build like log, log cabins with like red plastic arches and green roofs with flat pieces of wood. That link. Well, they were rounded, rounded pieces of wood, right? Or yours not rounded? They had for the roof they had slats. They had oh yeah, slats. yeah, yeah, yeah. They had real slats, but the you know the logs that had the little flat piece so that you could interconnect them, it's right? Pre-cut holes. Yeah. See, up in Canada, we call those logging logs. Logging logs. They weren't Lincoln. Well, yeah, you didn't know who Lincoln was. Well, you wouldn't was. use Lincoln. You wouldn't use Lincoln. You'd use like Queen Logs or something. Yeah. It was Queen Logs. Prime Minister Logs. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I got a delay going on. I don't know if it's me or if it's my browser settings. It's probably my browser. Just give me a second here. Got to figure this out. Yeah, no worries. Look no at worries. That. Timmy Logs. It's amazing what happens when you use the proper. Um, volume mixer to be able to mute the, the tab it's amazing oh, I, oh yeah my yeah. whole 2020 it feels like it needs to have a tab muted somewhere i don't know where and i can't find it that's what 2020 seems like for me buckeye guy j float trudeau logs <laughs> trudeau logs that could work yeah. you know the, the, uh, the, if they wouldn't have been trudeau log, logs back in the day i don't think he was born then was he no well his dad was pretty old he was around in the 60s <laughs> oh fair enough Fair enough. Absolute blog. John says, A. McDonald the log. Day. Here you go. We call them McDonald logs. How's that? John A. McDonald. Yeah. Absolute blog. And Lily didn't have them in the UK. Our houses are made of bricks. So did you only have Legos? Did you not have? Well, I guess the log tower <laughs> thing probably wasn't a UK thing. So what toys did you have to build like houses and stuff? That's crazy. Never even thought of that. The cultural differences with the toys that we all associate with. Yeah, absolutely. I had Ledwig just stopped in to say hi and bye. He's hitting the road for a day trip to Carbondale. Wow. Uh, He's been doing a great series of virtual cruise pictures. Have you seen that on Twitter? I have. I've been following the entire virtual cruise. I know. It's it's a great idea. The I, the, the food is, is a good pairing for every single stop that they go to. Um, yeah. They make a themed meal. They have Photoshop pictures of the specific areas. It's quite uh, quite interesting, then. Is, I, I saw they've should, even run into celebrities. Threat. Yes, running the celebrities and everything. Yeah. Uh, Absolute Blog and Lutely says they just had the Lego. Oh, yeah. They missed out. Yeah. So I, I just I distinctly remember having a set, but it wasn't called Lincoln Logs. I don't know what it was called in Canada. Um, yeah, but like like I was saying, it has slats in it that you could use for the roof sections. So you definitely build up the main platform area as, as you would with Lincoln Log style cut log stuff with notches. But then it would have like a plastic arch for, or what's that called? What's that called? Um, I should know this. I build houses. Uh, the triangle thingy. <laughs> the triangle thingy. Um, the peak? The, the, the peak, thing? Thank you. <laughs> the, the but, I was going to say the buttress. That's not, that's not right. Um, that's in a anyway. castle, right? I know, I know, I know. <laughs> they would have a red one of those, and you'd have two of them, and then they were they were pre-cut pieces of long um, wood that you could use. That was like a plank that basically allowed you to uh, do proper proper roofing on your your house, so your cows didn't get wet. But guy guy J Flow says the truss, the truss that could work, the trusses, but I don't know what they're called if they're at the end. So trusses would be in the middle. Um. If they're at the end, they have a different name. I should, again, I should know this stuff. We'll figure it out. You, you should. You should. Uh, we should figure you, it out. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I see that uh, Absol Blog and Lutely went in and put in the thread for, um, or at least the hashtag for uh, the virtual cruise for Ledwig in case anyone wants to follow him on his virtual cruise. Oh, nice. JFlo says Gable. Gable could be, but I think that's the facade. Like, we're, we're trying, JFlo, man. Like, uh, <laughs> uh, if my machine wouldn't slow down to a crawl, uh, I would go look on the web right now. But if I open up a second web browser, my machine falls over. 
Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, should we say good morning? Yes, absolutely. We need to say good morning. <laughs> let's say <laughs> let's say good morning us. and hello to uh, Buckeye Guy J Flow, to Absol Blog and Lily, to Callahan on Twitch, which is different oh, nice. than Callahan on every other social media. Uh, Chaz Rich, Copper Beardly, Defcon Veteran, and Spazito. Get affiliated now. Wow, we're we're getting followed by spam. Uh, <laughs> K McFerrin, Kowski Lurks. Uh, oh my goodness, Muland. Muland's Mewland, there, I yeah. Think? Oh, yeah, Mr. TJ12, TJ which is different 12. than Mr. TJ11, totally different person. Yeah. Mudchuck, Ledwig, who's here and then leaving, and somehow, I'm not sure how he's going to Carbondale in between Toulon and uh, Livorno. Yeah, yeah, tough, yeah. tough. The shadiest of pandas, uh, the madam of share points is here. TDI Bone, Vizio MVP, Wired, Canuck, KT Baker, I saw as if I didn't shout you out. Anyway, now, yeah, now it's interesting you mentioned Callahan on Twitch. I wonder what happened to Callahan on on Mixer. Is now Callahan on Facebook, or um, do you keep the same handle when you move? Like, who knows? I, I'm not sure. FYI, yeah, I don't know. I showed the bot the door. Yeah. Oh come on, man. The what? <sighs> he he banned bot. Oh okay. He banned get affiliated okay. now. I mean, well, you know we're we're. We we actually have moderators helping us out here because our our Twitch stream is so massive. Yes, uh, <laughs> we're employing moderators. Uh, so if you're looked at like to apply for the job and be able to assist us, you're more than welcome to apply. AKA yeah. ms slash help patch and switch dot com. <laughs> That's not a URL. That's not a valid oh, I know. URL. I, know. I was okay. trying. I was trying. It didn't work. Okay. It didn't work. Wait. Where, uh, where is MS? What like what is that top level domain? Some small little country in in Europe or something like that, or uh, that would be Microsoft. No, no, no. I know it stands for Microsoft, but did they actually give us our own, or did we buy our own two letter, or is it like some country? You know how they, you know, dot TV is is actually some some small Tunisian co country or something. Like that. I, I thought it, it was could Translate. Be yeah. Yeah. Ah, maybe. I'll be I'll be the Maldives. I'm looking. Maldives. It's Montserrat. Mo an Montserrat. Over an over a British overseas territory. Yeah, I. I oh, I, funny fact for cruise uh, gentlemen like uh, is he still here? Yeah, Scott Ledwig. I took my very first cruise um, after my honeymoon, and we happened to be on a small boat from Canada. Uh, it was <laughs> it was powered. <laughs> But we were doing the Caribbean islands, and we actually went past Montserrat uh, because we weren't allowed to stop there because the volcano was erupting. So oh. they wouldn't let us up the island. Uh, that would definitely that would definitely That'd be a downer. Eh? That, yeah, absolutely. If that volcano's erupting, and you're on the island. Not a good time. Uh, Why are Canuck asks if we have more mods than viewers? No, no, actually, we do not. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah all that, of that our would viewers be a actually, update. Actually. <laughs> We could we could promote all of our viewers to mods and just see what kind of fun we could have on the on the stream. <laughs> Ask it, thou shalt uh, receive. Ask the <laughs> no, don't do it, Jared. Please. <laughs> Absolutely says, who looks after the AK.ms site? The WVD web goes to the old web client. Um, so there's a tool, mm -hmm. and whoever owns that link, we can actually find out who owns that link, and we'll pass along that information. So yeah, but that um, would be considered beer money, right? Is that beer money? It, it would be beer money if you're helping out somebody. But technically, is um, with that is is absolutely a they, they're a blue badge, right? So, is it beer money if you're helping out someone at work? That's like from the trenches beer money. That, Maybe it's that's called from your the job. Trenches money Did that work? It's part of your job. It's you had one job. <laughs> yeah, if you just go to the root site, you can actually see who owns the link, and then you can. Yeah, pester them. My guess yeah. is it's probably a DL, a DL for distribution list. In case you don't know what a DL is, is, is this like Microsoft Glossary One Hundred and One show? I think it is. is we could have a whole show on that? terminology if you wanted to. Absolutely, and Lutley says he's not an MS employee. So <laughs> you are wrong. You are wrong. So I have taken a note to take a look at this, and 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 I've taken a note. We shall Mr. Blacksway in the house. Hello, nice. good to see you. Uh, nice. Shall we start the show? I think we should.
Um, I'm trying out something new with my camera set up, so I've got a bit of a delay before I hear you, but it's only about a second or two. So if our timings are off, I apologize for the audience. We haven't worked out the new comedy bits with the delay. We we needed to have a longer rehearsal, and we don't have script writers for the show this week, so <laughs> we're kind of on our own. We're, We've been we're, spoiled we're, with we're... script writers all week long, so... <laughs> well, let's talk about that. Let's talk about what we've done this week. What 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 have you been doing the last two weeks? The same so, thing I've been doing the last two weeks. So literally for the last month, it feels like I've been doing conferences, man, or <laughs> digital events. It's if it wasn't if it wasn't uh, Microsoft Ignite, then it went over to an internal one that uh, super secret squirrel, but it's not really secret. Uh, it's called Tech Connect, and yeah. Tech Connect internal one where we basically offer uh sessions to over a 24-hour period to our internal employees that are inside the technical sales and the technical support areas and the technical consulting areas to be able to go off and have similar subjects but instead of having presentations um they have conversations now i sound like a marketing person because they had to do no, you, you were just read reading the line? copy so much you were reading know, that copy you, all that day. Line so many times it was crazy um no death by PowerPoint. Instead, it was conversations that you're having with, pe with people. So a half an hour discussion Q&A with somebody. Yeah, so uh, we got to spend a lot of time in helping basically do the same thing we did at Microsoft Ignite, where we kind of, uh, w w would we be the curators? Is that the right word? The curators, curators of the- Curators. The emphasis is on the wrong syllable, according to my Canadianisms. So I would okay. say curators. Yeah, well, I would say curators. You always as well. accent the A's. Uh, a? <laughs> I curators. see what you did there. I see I what know. you did yeah. there. Yeah. See, it's, the timing's off just a bit. It's just like it's like we're out of phase or something. <laughs> I think we're all right. We're all right. It's okay. Just a, we'll figure out what the delay. We'll figure about the about the delay. So yeah, we curated the uh, what we call in the biz, interstitial content. Oh, in the biz. Ooh. Well, listen, I mean, we were doing things like teases and yeah, I, I mean, I like it's, it was basically a big TV production. Yeah. Um, and so obviously- <laughs> They let us on the set again, basically. Again, yes. Which is really hard when we come back here to our own setups because there's yeah. nobody here, there's like no flying jib. Nobody in my ear telling me which camera I have shot. to look at. <laughs> yeah, there's no one rewriting the copy in the teleprompter on the fly because they can't keep up with us. <laughs> <laughs> Where is it? The, oh, camera did, the camera did switch. Yeah, <laughs> the camera oh, I'm did over here. switch. <laughs> Where's my tally light? And, 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 and here's light. the funny thing. My director, his name is actually Steve. <laughs> So I had a real Steve in a my real ear Steve. telling, yes, yeah. Uh, let's see, Vizio MVP in the chat asking, Joey, why are or why are the hex shapes in the background on the level? Why are uh, uh, you mean in the shot? I, I mean, they're, what, if you're asking what they are, those are nano leaf lights. Oh, I know. Those, those are the new octagon uh, version of the nano leaf lights, which I. Right. Cool, man. Yeah, I'm loving them. Uh, I think I think they're amazing. Um, so you, and, you need to programmatically change them so that instead of just being on a cycle, whenever someone mentions patch or switch, they change into like red, black, red, black, red, black, or something like that. You can have some kind of notification do, that goes on. You, you can do all sorts of that, but not on the level. I don't know what you mean by not on the level at Vizio MVP. I'm, yeah. I, I don't know what he means. Uh, so yeah, we've been doing TV, TV broadcast. Broadcasts. Uh, Octagon, would you? Oh, sorry, they're hexagon. Sorry, right? That's hilarious. Yeah, they're hexagon, not octagon. I don't, I divide by two, right? <laughs> Carry the one. Add a dollar 380. What do yeah. you want? From, it's it's nine o'clock on a Friday. <laughs> yeah. Fact, so here, so with the Tech Connect, we, we did not work together for the first yeah. time in a long time. They split us, they split us up. And you did the way early morning shift, right? I think you started what seven a.m. or something. Yeah, my my call was for five. My my call was for six, which means I had to get up at five because it takes forever to get this ready. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we were actually were on on set at seven, and then started broadcasting at eight. 
Yeah. That nice. was with uh, Karawana Gatimu, um, which was cool. She works in the Teams space. Uh, yeah. She had the headliner spot for Microsoft Ignite with Andrew Wilson, the 700-foot-tall gentleman. Uh, <laughs> he's, literally, his waist is higher than my than my eyes. Like, he's just so, so one tall. person at Microsoft that's taller than I am. <laughs> oh, I know. Like, later, Joey actually has to look up to be able to talk to him. It's crazy how tall he is. I do. Uh, yeah, so, I do. So, yeah, I was working with, with Caruana. She was great to chat with. Um, uh, completely different perspective working in the Teams and Microsoft 365 space than working inside the Azure space, which was kind of cool. Yep. So it was a nice cross collaboration. Then we handed it off at four o'clock to Death, otherwise known as Seth and uh, Donna. Yep. And then they did their shift from four till midnight. And then you, my friend Trooper, uh, was were working with Film Girl, uh, otherwise and known Choey as. And then Choey took over. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, Cho Choey, Choey, Choey took over, yes. and. Uh, I actually went, and when I woke up in the morning, I rolled back and watched the video of you folks playing uh, yeah. with, with uh, Christina and yourself. And you're throwing the shade, dude. What's going on? He's <laughs> calling me out being a, a mediocre, an okay interviewer, an okay I said host. above average, right? Above, <laughs> just slightly above average. That's nice. <laughs> So, so actually, this is I got the biggest kick. So, a uh, big shout out to Film Girl, aka Christina Warren. Um, she's amazing, by the way, to work with. Oh, yeah. uh, she's a I'm sitting sport. there. I, I watched her technical interviews, and then I would just kind of go, "Crap, how am I going to do mine?" Um, <laughs> yeah, she taught me about the GitHub's and stuff. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm looking, I'm looking back at the at, at the chat here. I'm looking back at it. So, so you texted me. Um, which is great because I was actually on set. We just actually finished a segment and, and this is the text message. So I haven't heard anything from Rick in a text message in days. So this is a text message, quote, perfectly adequate question mark, <laughs> <laughs> which is one of the lines. And then, then the Wonderful. next, the exact next text an over average, mostly reasonable, good job, question mark. <laughs> So yes, I had to. Um, we we introduced several of the videos that you had done earlier in the day, and, and you did a chat with um, name drop Mark Krasinovich. Uh, and uh, afterwards, they came back, and the prompter said, "Hey, a great interview by, by my fellow podcast colleague um, Rick Claus." And so that's when, and I'll be clear here. I started at once. I made one little comment, and Christina said, "We're going to continue this through the entire show." Oh, and nice. so, yes. So the the perfectly adequate was was one hundred percent Christina. Just just say. Well, I was more than happy to say it. Oh yeah. No, you, you definitely didn't like defend me and jump up and 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 <laughs> stop it. From we happening. are being raided. We oh, are yeah. being raided. There is a raid. Oh. Hey, Microsoft developer. Thank you wow. for the raid. Wow, look at that. They're they're Come raiding the show with um, more viewers than we've ever had before. Nice. Uh, yeah, well, welcome, Raiders. Yeah. This is the Patch and Switch program. We are two guys who couldn't make it in the landscaping business, but uh, are in the IT business. And uh, it's, I actually <laughs> like to call this the Seinfeld of IT podcasts because we talk about absolutely nothing as we but were it, just- It does have a topical slant, not mostly. So that's good. And mostly. Can we, uh, so welcome, Raiders. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Welcome. Great to see you. If, if you haven't yet, uh, go ahead and click on that follow button uh, or refresh, uh, as you may, uh, in, in, your, uh, in your browser. And thank you, Microsoft Developer, for the raid. It's so fantastic to see everybody uh, this early morning. Um, let's go back into chat, because yes. I, I, I saw the same thing. Uh, there is a call out in chat by interface BE that says, I see the AMD CPU and ROG MOBO in the background, and I see a big old stack of stuff. Can we talk about this now, or do we have to wait to the segment? Well, we could we could bump that up if you wanted to. We could talk about random spending if you want. Is it random? I mean, it could be random spend, wouldn't it? it? It Well, is it random? Yeah, it could be random spending. It could also be beer money, right? Yeah, because true. I was helping you with some support issues, yeah, so right? We'll do a combined section, combined section. So. Uh, I was going to actually fire up NDI, my iPhone, and then add it as a scene to be able to broadcast it out. But I think my machine would fall over if I tried to do that because it's <laughs> it was just chugging away. So I was going to actually show you down here. So I've been I've been struggling with um, a 12-year-old dual proc Xeon uh, 
system with 48 gigs of RAM. So struggling, uh, but it's just it's just so <laughs> it just can't do stuff. Like it, it needs it needs a break. It needs to be retired, right out back, put a bullet in the back of it, and then move on. Right. So uh, I finally just got tired of it and broken down, and I've 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 picked up minimal components, as you can see here, uh, that uh, we're going to build. And you suggested, my friend, why don't we stream it as I build it? Because I haven't built a PC in probably a dozen years or more. And so <laughs> I specifically set up this camera rig right here to yes. be able to show us the overhead view and still oh, have oh, me in the Oh, look at corner. that. Look at that. And so I can be talking to you here and then doing stuff. That's safe, right? On the board? <laughs> um, no, I would not use that, no. So we're gonna get no. an ambulance cam? I also cam? wanted to show off. It, we could <laughs> have an ambulance, ambulance cam, cam if you wanted to. Uh, I also have my backup Tilly hat has arrived as well. So that's just in case I can't find my hat. Yeah, but I can actually switch back and forth between that. But that's the extent of what I can do with the hardware that I have right now. Wire um, Connect says, I want to see Rick covered in thermal paste. <laughs> I, I think it, I, I want to I want to put like an icy nozzle on the thermal paste syringe to be able to make little patterns. <laughs> you no. think that'll work? No. No, uh, word, uh, Scott Messel says, word of advice, thermal paste does not equal toothpaste. Oh, yes. No, no. You do not want to brush your teeth with uh, thermal paste. So, uh, uh, so what do you say, says, man? So Interface BE says he also got the crosshair. He does have the RGB memory, though. And I was asking you about this. Where was yeah. the RGB for this build? Yeah, so I know that you your, your build w has uh, RGB lasers and CO2 cannons because yes. you use... You use your build for doing your DJ gigs, um, yes. you know. Uh, but I, I, you mentioned and reminded the folks that uh, a our insurance isn't high enough to cover uh, Rick's accidental firings of CO two, uh, so uh, that's been scrapped. And so because that was scrapped, that made some money available uh, to be able to get a slightly higher proc. But uh, um, the 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 RGBs, I don't know. I, I'm not a fan. I'm a traditionalist. I just care about silence. I want airflow and I want silence. And so we can talk about some different choices about those different pieces uh, and trade offs that we did. But I'm game for doing a Sunday if you want to do it. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, welcome, Kyle. Uh, sorry, Carl, IT nerd. Uh, good evening to you. Um, mm -hmm. So so let's do this. Um, so can you hold off? I know you got everything. I, I know this because we talked yesterday. I know you have had everything since yesterday and it's all stacked up nicely on the desk behind you. Can you wait another about 48 hours to actually do the build? So I will I will admit I've only opened one box. What box did you open? The the case. That's it. Okay. Well, you have to kind of unbox the case, right? You kind of have yeah. to take it out. Everything else I don't think is sealed up. I don't think unboxing a case is a big deal, is it? I mean, because it's a case, right? Yeah. I, I don't well, know. It's a nice case, um, so we'll have to uh, we'll have to keep that on keep that one on point. But yeah, sure, absolutely, I can wait. It's at public. Okay. So um, let's say now, my, my request um, is going to be we're going to need to have some music, um, and and so uh, do do we have royalty free music we can play in the background? I do. Like that? Yes. Yeah, we have something. Yeah, so, we have something. So we are going to have something. this is going to be a longer stream too. This is in real life, IRL, like. You literally will see me figuring out how to put this stuff together with Joey snide comments the entire time, and you're welcome. I don't to know drop what you're talking screen. about. I have never made any snide comments about you <laughs> and your slightly above average hosting skills ever. <laughs> never. I can help Joey. We with need that. to figure out some way we can also capture the um, the screen because I the, the going through UEFI BIOS settings to be able to get all the stuff to work. Um, OS install and then getting the, the software stuff like that on there too. Like we could, we could have some fun with this. Well, I think I think you and I will will have to have a little bit of uh, uh, some some stream building um, a meeting to 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 figure out how we do some of these technical things. We should have a meeting about having a meeting later today about the stream meeting on Sunday. You yeah, have your people call my people. They'll do okay. lunch. Yeah, Socially we'll distanced. Socially distanced lunch about a meeting about a meeting. 
Casey Baker is recommending that you take it easy on the adult beverages when building computers. Bad things can happen. Ooh, good point. Very good point. Uh, so what do you think? Should we do this? Should we do this? I, uh, we're going to have to do this this weekend. Um, I think, I, I think maybe a morning Pacific time stream so that we can get our friends in Europe in as they are just getting ready to head in to their week. So should we do say 10 AM Pacific time? Give us a little time to sleep in on Sunday. And yeah, that works. 10 AM Pacific. That works. So we will be doing the, uh, Rickster CDN. Can he make it blend? I mean, make it work uh pc build <laughs> uh like sunday uh so two days from now at 10 a.m pacific time which i believe is 6 p.m british time right if so I, just after if you I'm finished off your roast with yorkshire puddings you're welcome mm, to join. sunday roast yes now see <laughs> they could all be drinking the adult beverages and the comments could get quite funny um but we'll, we'll let's let's We'll do it on the Patch and Switch channel, though, right? Like, yeah, we'll do it right here channel. on the Patch same, and Switch same channel. Same channel, just different time. Yeah. So, so all you have to do, <laughs> I'm gonna get to chat just a minute because I love the comments. But all you have to do, if you haven't followed the Patch and Switch program, just go ahead and and, and give us a follow here yeah. on the Twitches, and you will be notified when we go live. So again, 10 a.m. Pacific time on Sunday. So two days from now on Sunday. Um, I'm going to have a football game actually on a second monitor over here while, and I'm not sure which one is going to keep me more entertained. You tried to put the processor the correct way into the motherboard without breaking all the pins in. off. Um, you don't need, you just cut the pins off and they don't fit, right? You don't need those extra pins. Um, okay. So <laughs> <laughs> Scott Metzel says his brother forgot to put in spacers between the motherboard and the case for the first PC he built like 20 years ago. Yeah. Somehow he electrified the whole case. It got really warm. Oof. Casey Baker wants to know, are you going to let the magic smoke out? No, we have to try our best not to let the magic smoke out. We still see. It, Sam, this class, Sam I, is I, asking you know how long it took me to bring no up this extra camera. It's crazy. Uh, well, you didn't let the smoke out when you rigged the extra camera, though. True. Hey, oh, I have an alternate view. This is my alternate view. I can have it this way. See? You have, still have me, but then I have my hands down here doing something. I love that. I love I like that. That's that's fantastic. It's a, you, you may <laughs> have to move the hat, though, to work on the PC. The hat, yeah, the hats. Uh, I'm going to have to get a hook for the hat. It's um, and I, need, I already do. I, I'm surprised I don't have a hook. Uh, I think I'm going to put a hook. Can't see it, but like right here on this wall, but I could put my hat on because it's. <laughs> my wife always laughs at me because I she sees me walk out of the room before a meeting and I'm like wandering around looking for stuff, and she says, "Oh, can't find your hat." <laughs> so I really need to have a hat I can just like put on a hook and I know where it is. So Muland uh, asks, uh, "Is that an ESD safe hat?" Is. <laughs> Well, I'm surprised no one's commented yet. I don't have my like static uh, sheets that I that I should have down here for building stuff. Um, I, I can't remember the last time I actually wore a static band <laughs> around your wrist <laughs> to attach to a workstation. Um, so that tells you the quality of the stuff I've been working on inside of data centers for the last 30 years. Yeah. Uh, Esposito heading for lunch. So enjoy your weekend, sir. Hope to see you on Sunday for the stream. That would be fun. Uh, Scott Metzel saying there should be a turbo button in the form of Rick's hat. Ooh, that could work. TDI bone secondary yeah. Tilly hat in case of an emergency. Does it put out yeah. fires? Well, I, you know, we need to have a, maybe I need to make like, like a little glass case that it can sit inside of, break glass in case of emergency. <laughs> <clears throat> that could work. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to build Rick's PC. Well, Rick's going to build his PC. I'm just going to snarkily comment, and then chat will hopefully help me snarkily comment. Uh, and, and with, uh, you know, we, we should also probably involve some of the folks and get some folks over from the uh, Discord that we have set up for IT Ops Talk. I'll uh, drop some comments in there as well. Yep, and, and the link for that, aka.ms slash IT Ops Talk dash Discord, for those of you who are wondering, we've also dropped that into the chat. So if you haven't seen it, just scroll on up a little bit, unless you just joined, yeah. in which case I'm going to ask our buddy Wired Connect to go ahead and drop that back into the chat so people have right. the link. Oh, Jared did it. There we go. Awesome. Uh, hey, speaking of promotion, uh, we should probably mention that we have now come to the closing 
of the first phase of the patch and switch merch pre-order. That means those of you who got into the first batch, your stuff will be going into production in the next couple of days here. So I definitely wow. wanna thank all of you for purchasing. We've had people uh, ordering patch and switch merch from all over the globe. It's really cool to see. Uh, if you want in on your own patch and switch merch, you wanna head on over to aka.ms slash patch and switch merch, M-E-R-C-H and you will have an opportunity to buy a patch and switch t-shirt which says it's not our fault we were left unsupervised and it has the amazing patch and switch logo in the background uh we have two different links uh from our friends over at man merch made they've got one that for it's right in the US. website man Who's, yeah is that you or is that is that steve steve's <laughs> doing that it's like Stop in the middle. <laughs> Don't just scroll up and down super fast. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got uh, so so you've got orders for both the U.S. and uh, orders from uh, fruit yeah. throughout. Uh, so Scott sure. Scott even has his. Scott got the oh, mug wow. and hoodie. <clears throat> nice. Goodness, what's happened to my voice? Uh, I <laughs> talked a lot this week. So we got the mug know. and the hoodie. Uh, we've got the T-shirts coming, um, and if you're in the U U.S., you can get uh, your version of the Brewer shirt, the the, the Brewer shirt nice. that we have. Um, so plenty of things uh, to wear to support the program. And remember, uh, for all orders, uh, we are taking 10% from each item and supporting our good friends over at Girls That Code. So, Absolutely. so you're helping a good cause, a and job, so we are making zero money. Job. Yeah, we're making yes. zero money. This is just, uh, we know our fans uh, want to have some patch and switch merch. Uh, so we're doing this and it's a limited time only because after the next episode, in a fortnight's time, we're done. That's it. Disappears. It's Disappears. gone. In addition, I still, I gotta get on there and order one of those sweatshirts, man. My kids are dying for one of those sweatshirts. Your kids would uh, actually wear patch and switch gear? Believe it or not, uh, they would. Wow. That's awesome. Or at least, or at least my wife says that she would. Um, and then normally, if we would wear something like that, then the kids would take it. So yeah, nice, nice. Shareport Madam uh, ordered a couple of weeks ago. Can't wait. Yeah, there. I, I do know that because this is pre-order. A lot of this stuff is custom done, uh, so it does yeah. take longer, I guess. Uh, the moose in the UK are uh, 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 are in, in Europe it's are moving a, a little quicker. It's it's a it's it normally is very slow, but I think they they outsourced in in um, in the UK. What do they have over there? They got elk. What do they have? Uh, do they have elk? I, I don't. Well, I'm sure they have. They have reindeer. Is it reindeer? Are the reindeer over in the UK? Right, well, reindeers for the northern half of Europe. Oh, okay. I get okay. Like there's a whole subcontracting mix they use with different animals. Um, <laughs> I don't know what they use in in the UK. Well, you know what? I think for the UK they use the Scottish uh, steer. Um, you know those really like kind of kilt wearing steers that are that, that are over there in Scotland. Yeah. That's what they use in the UK. Yeah, you can't understand sure. them when they want your signature. You just can't. What? I know. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just place your hoof print there. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Um, I I do believe Kylo and Ren, which are which are our delivery service, have have yeah. been having a little bit of an issue going back and forth due to to the border closure with COVID. The yeah, so so they actually have to take a back route, uh, not back route, a back route um, yeah. through northern Maine, uh, which takes a little bit longer <laughs> than crossing down there in Bangor. Um, so okay. that one there, uh, at least for the East Coast, is a bit more troublesome. And in the West Coast, I do believe they cross on a back goat road uh, across the Cascades somewhere. Well, OK, that's a that's a long route. They must swim as well. <laughs> swim. I, yeah, um, I don't know. So, so with uh, with with our random jumping ahead to random spending, yes. Uh, do you have any random spending at all this past little oh, while yes. yourself? Yeah, yeah, and it's all your fault. I know, of course, but I'm just curious what it was. <laughs> so, I've actually bought. Um, oh, it's out of reach. Um, I got these amazing, cool clamps. So I, I so I built a custom because you cannot buy. The Elgato, uh, you know, mount systems for cameras and stuff right now because they're all out of stock. Uh, yeah. I have fashioned one, and I think we talked about this on the last program. I fashioned one out of a monitor mount. Absolutely. And yeah, best thing, it's like a Lego block. Step bits to increase the 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 holes to put the the, the mounting screws in, and using a, a 
extender for a tripod to put the yeah. camera put the camera on so I can raise it and lower it. And then um, I have an extended um, kind of pole here that the, the monitor mount sits on. And so since it's so low because I'm I'm sitting most of the time, there's room for lights. And so you recommended a couple of these clamps for me, these these smart clamps, <clears throat> I think is what they are. Or small rig. Small rig. That's right. Small rig small clamps. Rig, all one word. And then I bought a couple of clamps and a couple of arms. And so I've remounted my uh, my what they call in the business key light. <laughs> See, I'm learning. I'm learning. Yeah. So I mounted my key light here. And then I have another mount, small rig mount that's coming, uh, mounting arm, which will mount the monitor that I use just underneath my camera here so that I, when I'm looking into the camera, I see you and I see all of our friends uh, when we're in Teams meetings. So that's been my latest bit of random spending. Yeah, I was I was just demonstrating some of the miscellaneous parts of of uh, expired <laughs> monitor arms that have been put into service in different areas, and you end up with these miscellaneous parts. You just don't know what to do with them. Yeah, um, I've but got yeah, all the, sorts the, of... the the twenty five dollar and thirty dollar monitor arms that we just keep on grabbing another one of and another one of, and then you build off of these different long uh, posts on your back of your desk. Yeah. It's it literally we can make a YouTube channel out of it probably. <laughs> How to modify a monitor arm for different things yeah yeah absolutely uh so sam says he's not heard cool and clamps in the same sentence before oh well hey man look. those are cool ones yeah there's some extra parts there too they are they are so, uh, so the, i, I want to call out the small rig because i never realized but there's like a whole subculture of different camera carrying options and this is what small rig specializes at they find all these weird little adapters to be able to make your camera rigs fit together with like a hot shoe microphone mount and a light mount and a and a, and a tripod and a, and a above ground carrying thing so that's what they make really, really cool stuff uh and then yeah the 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 clamps are the part that i think are pretty kind of neat and make them work anywhere it's pretty cool yeah uh, it, they, they're very grippy they're very grippy yeah. like you don't have to fight with them to to get it to attach to stuff um so yeah super look we, we're geeks right and at the end of the day you can geek out on things. I had multiple tripods. So I had a tripod for the camera and behind the tripod on top of my, I have, I have two turntables and a microphone, uh, two turntables that are sitting in flight cases right here. So I had mounted, so I, I had another tripod sitting on top of, of, of those with my lighting rig on it. And it just took up a lot of room and it's so nice mm -hmm. to kind of get everything condensed down. And then I've got to work on this side of the, the side of the the studio uh, after that, but it, it's been fun. It's been fun. TDI Bone should show you how your setup looks like from your perspective. Yes, I will do that. Uh, I should have set up NDI on my iPhone so that you can see it. Um, it is <clears throat> right now half set up, um, so my desk is 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 rather rather long. So this half of my desk is the work setup. So this is where I do all my work stuff, and then over here on this side, this is the DJ stuff. So I've got my DJ mixer here, and then I bring in my CD players, which are just over on this side uh, when I do yeah. that. So. Uh, Carl IT Nerd asks, should I just give all my money to Elgato? No. Uh, I so love that I've been, I, I've been staying away from doing all the Elgato name brand stuff. Yeah. So I love their products. Um, I absolutely positively recommend that their, uh, uh, like the, their capture cards, 100% recommend their capture cards. Uh, but uh, you have Vizzy MVP put up a mirror so we can see. I'm here. OK. Oh, there you are. Sorry. I'm there. <laughs> OK. All right. <laughs> we lost Rick. Uh, uh, so yeah, uh, going back to the Elgato stuff, capture card, great. If you can get some of their stuff, I love the green screen. I haven't had a chance to play with my, I actually have a green screen. I haven't had a chance to set it up and play with it much. Um, because again, I was trying to work out how to rearrange everything so that I could get a different lighting set up. Uh, because you need additional lights for the green screen, but I'm working on that. Um, but uh, apart from that, yeah, you don't, look, Rick is, I love how Rick is during the show actually messing with his OBS scenes as he's as he's working with it. Um, 
So it's not always necessary. There's all sorts of stuff that you can do. Uh, the other thing, uh, Stream Deck as, oh, look, our good buddy C Sharp Fritz in the room. C, uh, and he says Stream Deck as well. The only product he would he would swear by. There's more pro capture cards available, which is true. But I tell you, I have not had a problem with my internal capture card. Uh, and actually, you know what? To be honest with you, I haven't really had a problem with the little external guy that I normally have running around here. It's run off somewhere. Yeah. I'm sure I'll find it The eventually. only Elgato things that yeah. I have is the Stream Deck and their HD60 S Plus Capture, and that's it. Oh, so there you go. You've got the back, you've got the uh, the behind the scenes view of Rick's setup there. Ah. Uh, Lots of lights. Lots of lights. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. <laughs> His audio is. Uh, I love how he decides yeah. he's going to do this on a machine that is not running very well. Yeah. Which is why we're replacing the machine. And he's just going to do that during the show. Exactly. Yeah, no problem. I'm good. Okay. All right. You good. sure hey, you're good? Uh, We've skipped. We've skipped uh, right over. Uh, we've skipped right over uh, beer money, uh, which is the yes. support that we do beer for money, our Texas. friends, our family, our family's friends, pets, dogs, uncles, sisters, brothers, cousin. Uh, have you done any beer money support over the the last couple weeks? So, during the stream on Tuesday, when we were doing the live Tech Connect stream with Microsoft, um, they actually had to go and fire up the diesel generators to run the building because of the windstorm that was going on. And random pockets of the Pacific Northwest were losing power from uh, Pacific Northwest power. Um, and uh, the funny thing that I noticed or that I found out very quickly was they hadn't done testing on their diesel generators to make sure things were working or not correctly. So that was a live test that they did and we passed, which was good. But um, I got a ping during the break from my wife saying that the internet was down because there was a power fluctuation that happened, which kind of knocked us out for a quick little moment at home. Um, but uh, I'm like, well, that's strange. And I fire up my phone and you know, you and I are both ubiquity fans. We bought into the ecosystem. So I can hit my remote cloud key to see if it's working through the interwebs into my house to find out that it's all still working inside the house, but things weren't working for internet browsing. And I'm like, what's going on? Cause I can see it's healthy. I can see I got connectivity, it's all fine. Then I remember, oh yeah, everybody in my house uses the pie hole for DNS. And so oh. the pie hole, when it got the power fluctuation, probably just kind of puked and needed to be unplugged and plugged back in again to do a reset on it. So yeah. as soon as I explained, go look in the closet, look for this little black box that says pie hole on it, and then unplug the power, count to five, plug it back in again. Internet will be working again for you in about uh, you know five minutes or less. Sure enough, boom. Teenagers were happy. They could continue doing their work, and everything was fine. So that was my quick uh, beer money support from the break room inside of the studios. Yeah, so we, we had the same thing happen here, and it re made me realize I really need to get a UPS for the cable modem and the and the other core, cent core central system upstairs. Uh, the stuff that's down here in my office that controls the lighting and stuff is not all that important, but the upstairs we need to we need to do that. TDI Bone did some beer money, and let's get to what his story is. Oh, yeah. He says he was showing his car dealer how to respond to his bad review on Google. So TDI Bone, you actually gave a bad review on Google and then showed him how to respond to it. That is phenomenal. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, he said he got free service out of it. Nice. I had the same problem. Uh, Buckeye Tuesday. guy J Flow. You had to show your a bad review on no, Google. No, the uh, power outage. According to my UPS, oh, okay. oh yeah, I had 29 power incidents. Tuesday from 10 a.m. till Ooh. 4 p.m. What UPS do you run at home, dude? I have uh, APC UPSs. I have one on my core network, one on my server, right. and one on my desk. What what size of, of, of mega giga terahertz things should we be looking at if we are looking to to keep our how many uh, how many giga how many gigaflops do we need for this? Yes. <laughs> Two point twenty one gigawatts. No, nice. um, I have uh, on my server because it's so small. I only have a 400 watt, and I have a 400 oh, watt wow. okay. 
on my core network, but that's overkill, but I got it on sale. And then I have a 650 on my desk. So, so I was looking for like 130 bucks. I think you can get like a 1500. Yeah. I, I got mine for like 50. That, that's, that's what I was looking yeah. at. Like, is, is that overkill? Hmm. Is that too much? Um, the way to think about it is if it's 1500, I mean, but you're only drawing like a hundred, you'll be able to draw it for a long time. Okay. Yeah, and really, you're just using it for the clean power aspect of that. being able to not have to deal with the brownouts and possible surges, right? Yeah, that's what I primarily use it for. Unfortunately, my ISP did not have a UPS in the building. So every time the power snapped, uh, I, I lost DHCP and I had to re-DHCP. Yeah. So that was a pain in the... Yeah, God. For, for me, I'm, I'm thinking I'm trying to see if I can get the HOA to authorize a diesel generator container that I can just drop outside the window over good. here. Um, <laughs> and the, Actually, not diesel. Do you have natural gas? My house? Have, have you... I mean, when, when I took a data center tour with my team uh, a couple of years ago, they showed us the diesel generators that they have that power... Is it, there's a small Microsoft research and development data center up here, right. about literally 15 mm -hmm. minutes from where I live, if that. Uh, and they showed us the size of the diesel generators in there. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get one of those. It's seriously it's right. like bigger than my garage. Seriously, you can get a natural gas generator. Yeah. Then you're just drawing from natural gas. You don't oh, have yeah? that diesel. And then you could well, do an interlock well, I, switch. The problem with natural gas is my neighbor actually knocked out my natural gas service by hitting my meter with his lawnmower. Well, tell Chuck true to story. stop doing that. True story. No, I, I know. Like, true story. I, and so, first of all, thank you to my neighbor for mowing my lawn, which is awesome. Um, I apologize for having it too long. However, apparently, if you hit the gas meter hard enough, um, and you happen to have a seismic switch on it for cutoff, uh, you can actually trip the seismic switch, um, which I didn't know I had. So if, if this has happened to you, apparently the seismic switch, all you do is you take the knob and you rotate it a full 360 degrees. You hear this massive, as it re recalibrates again. Um, do you like that sound effect? It was made just for you. Um, and then it, the gas turns back on for the house. So I, I lived a day and a half with no gas in the house, no hot water, um, because he tripped my seismic switch with his lawnmower. Uh, C Sharp Red says a bunch of folks in his neighborhood have the natural gas whole home generators, but he does not have gas on his street. So C Sharp Fritz is angry. Oh, no. Uh, Scott Metzel, um, actually sometimes those diesel generators are locomotive engines. I'm guessing you could get the HOA to approve one of those big container generators because you could probably power most of the street. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, I'd offer it to the cul-de-sac, you know, we could, <laughs> we could paint it fun colors and the kids could play on it in the park. They'd never know. <sighs> you wouldn't want yeah, to be on I'd... top of it when it kicks off though. Let me tell you, cause that thing's loud. <laughs> I do not want anything to do with having to deal with your insurance rates at this point. I'm just saying. <laughs> I am just saying. And, and uh, you know, uh, I have to get a permit to dig the swimming pool for the hazard containment area um, <laughs> for the diesel engine fuel and another pool sized storage tank for the diesel fuel to run. So it, it might take a bit of extra work, I think. I, I'm, I'm just curious. Did you just say swimming pool and hazardous materials dump at the same sentence? He did. Well, well you have to. Like, when, when you mount these diesel generators and you're up to code, they have to be above a void. So in case they get damaged and they leak, they leak into the pool. Um, but you don't want this to, to be a swimming pool. It's a contain. It's Okay, okay. Containment pond. <laughs> so, um, you know. I, I could use the containment pond for the storage of the stormwater pond, but then the the, the EPA is going to get involved, and that's not good. The HOA is bad enough, but then getting the EPA involved, they're like federal. That's that's serious stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, just, I don't want you digging any waste, uh, hazardous waste ponds anywhere near Redneck Corner. If <laughs> just if anyone's going to yeah. dig it, Joey. It's got to be Chuck. 
Yeah, no kidding. No kidding. To do, uh, send Rick lots of pictures of dumpster pools, not dumpster fires, dumpster pools to <laughs> see the difference. Uh, uh, okay. So going back to realistically, and I see that that uh, our buddy <laughs> up in Canada, Wire Canuck, has ordered the 20,000 watt uh LP slash 18,000 watt NG air cooled standby generator has a whole house generator. If we were just looking to go oh, yeah. with something just to kind of keep some stuff running, a 1500 should be good, right? I'm good with 1500. For sure. For sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Again, it's mostly for just handling those blips that we get, right? Yeah. So I, I'm I'm in the same boat. I got to go off and buy a couple of those. Um, coming up to the right time of year. Protection of the unit downstairs. Coming up on the right time of year, yeah. we can look for all sorts of sales. You can get generators or not generators. Uh, UPS is fairly. Why is it the right? Is there is there a UPS month or something? I'm not aware no, of National UPS Day. Black Friday, dude. Okay, Black <laughs> get Friday. It? Oh, oh, I guess get yeah. it, get it. Black Friday, get it. Yeah. Blackout. Blackout Friday. Yeah. No. Anyway, I don't care. Yeah, Jan wants to know what about carpools? Different topic altogether, and we just don't want to go there. Yeah. I think at this point, I'm I'm just well, I'm we just could saying make mobile. Like we, we could we could make it mobile. We could drive the container to the location. But again, you need to have a docking station for it. Now. Um, no. <laughs> so how about we go? So, the, the next section of the of the show, as you can see, a show but absolutely nothing is the uh, the beer talk. Uh, yeah, I know so Scott, before we Scott's get there. Here. Well, no, I think he That's left. He, he's he's still on his cruise. So Phil yeah. says, Phil came in. He says, I'm late. Did I miss the sound issues? Yes, you did. But you also missed, and I'm going to say this again now. We have a special program, Random Active Streaming, coming up Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific time, as Rick builds a PC using the components that he has behind him, as you can see. So, yeah, get that. All right. Wait, wait, wait. Now we can talk sound about issues? this talk because we, oh, there you go. Secondary camera shot. Sound issues? <laughs> No, no. We just have stream issues. The stream is working and tested. It's all great. Absolutely. Uh, so let's talk beer because last weekend we finally got together and had a socially distant, reasonably socially distant brewing with masks and an open garage day uh, yep. at the Beer Team 6 an Brewery. Open flame. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. So the Beer Team 6 Brewery went quite well, socially distanced. It worked out well. Um, and we made a 10 gallon batch of moose drool, which we made slightly Canadian. So it's Canadian moose drool. Um, maybe we should call it the, 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 the honorary Kylo and Ren moose drool, uh, batch. Oh yeah. Happened. Yeah. Uh, so it's a nice brown ale from a clone recipe from a brewery in Montana, I do believe. Uh, and the moose drool is, um, currently done fermentation. However, I will say I dumped the trub, which is the, uh, the, the waste left over from the yeast and the settlement of the findings inside of the beer, uh, you know, sediment and grease and not grease, sediment and and, and um, um, brain waste and things like that. Uh, and it literally took a good 10 minutes for that stuff to kind of finally flush down through the bottom. Um, I took a video of it, but it's too gross to post. Um, <laughs> and uh, it's, 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 it's now it's it's now been sitting in the conical fermenter for an extra 24 hours so we can clarify it some more and then it's about to be transferred to the bright tank later today probably over my lunchtime uh, period so we can start to carbonate it and possibly drink it this weekend. Ooh yes, maybe a, mm -hmm. uh, a celebratory brown ale beverage after uh, a, a, a successful PC build sometime into the wee hours of Monday morning because we're going to start at Sunday yeah. so we should be done yeah yeah. <laughs> Should be done as test by then. Uh, so uh, so that's a good possibility to finish off that one there. And um, I, we actually had a request if we were going to possibly set up the brew cams for another type of live stream. We're getting in this live streaming thing uh, of us making beer. So I figured, hey, International Homebrew Day is coming up on November the 7th, I do believe, or maybe it's November the 5th. Um, it's a Saturday, right? Cameras in the brewery. It's a, it's a Saturday. Yeah, November 7th. If you look at so date. what do you think? Should we should we do brew cam? I mean, what do you think, Patch and Switch audience? Uh, internet, chat? Yeah, so that's... 
Yeah, it's the seventh, seventh of November. So basically, two, three, three weeks in a day. One, two, three weeks in a day from today. Um, and basically, we put on wireless mics, uh, have a couple of camera angles, and go ahead and uh, from beginning to end, if you wanted to watch, uh, make beer, talk beer, and and have fun. Now we should probably oh, note on that stream that sometimes in the brewery, uh, it may be PG thirteen. Yes, it may be PG thirteen. There might be some gosh darn it's in there, Jiminy Crickets, you know. Um, especially when we drop Looking things shorts. or burn ourselves or yeah, oh it, maybe catch things on happened. fire. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I love the fact that C Sharp Fritz has a clip of me going, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. That's, that's awesome. Uh, J Shock, possibly a bit more than that PG 13. Yeah. Uh, KT Baker, explosions? Question mark. Actually, there are explosions, several explosions. They're, they're very small, they're very contained uh, as the uh, okay. system that we use ignites the burners. Yeah, it has a very annoying alarm. I think we actually have to have like a burner cam where like one of the camera angles is just looking in at the burner as it turns on and runs. Um, I think I have a heat shield. That'll work. <laughs> I, might, I, might, I might melt the GoPro. That clip solves so many problems. Hey, Joey, is this safe? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Uh, so if you're interested, so let us know in chat if you're interested in doing this or if you're not watching the program, you're catching it um, via replay, you can hit us on our Twitter, which we are at Patch and Switch. We're also on Instagram at Patch and Switch and Facebook, Patch and Switch. We are just not on uh, TikTok because nobody wants to see us dance. Absolutely not dancing at all. Uh, Scott Messel says, hey, y'all watch this. I do believe we say, hold my beer, watch this, is actually, that's usually hold when things beer. go poorly. Yeah, hold my beer, yeah. watch this. Yeah, so maybe we'll have, uh, we'll have wart cam, we'll, we'll have mashing cam. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wart cam, oil cam. I figured a boil cam could work as well. Um, and we're basically just going to be moving the same single camera to different positions. We don't actually have this much technology. So, um, yeah. Need to get a uh, waterproof housing for the um, camera. We, we don't, it doesn't need to be waterproof. Oh, brother. Does it? It's, it's only steam. It's, it's right on top of steam, dude. It's only steam. It's not going to hurt a camera. Joey. You bring your Sony 6400. We'll put that <laughs> suspended over top of no nope. suspended I, over top of the boil kettle. Can I can I play the clip, Sorry, what Joey? Is, what, what is my clip? I believe my clip is uh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, KT Baker, someone called the bomb squad on my grandfather's homebrew that got overpressured. The bottles went off with a bang. Oh, I would bet, yeah. Overpressure. That's why we don't bottle. I, I had that. Uh, so I had that problem cleaning the conical fermenter with uh, my clean in place valve and a heater for the very first time. Um, so apparently when you take sanitizer and cleaner, <laughs> I was doing cleaner at the time, uh, and you pump it through a heating coil to go back into the container and then it squirts and then it comes back out again and does this continuous loop and gets hotter and hotter and hotter. That builds up pressure. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, by building up pressure, it actually blew the top of the thing off, showered my ceiling of the garage with uh, cleaning foam, uh, soaked everything, scared the living bejesus out of me, um, and uh, dented uh, dented the lid. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll show you the remnants of that. We still use the same conical fermenter, uh, yeah. but I can definitely attest to the fact that raising liquid from uh, you know, 48 degrees up to, um, you know, 150 degrees or so, uh, increases the, 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 the volatility, I guess I will say. I guess that means that the garage got cleaned at that point, right? KT Baker says the same it thing. It was very sterile. It, it, it could have been used <laughs> as a stale room at that point. <laughs> uh, Phil says, I'm not sure you guys should brew beer. What about taking a, out a bridge as a hobby? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, we should find somebody to raise. 
Yeah, we need to find someone to raid, and we also have to make sure we got the uh, audio playing for the for the what is it called the the orchestra guys and gals because it's time to go, my friend. Can you read it, off the thanks? Is there too it, many? It is. I'll, uh, I will read off the thanks if somebody can help us find somebody to raid. So help us chat, find somebody huh. to raid, and I will say. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, uh, and good day to One Wise Geek, Taxa Bog, and Lutely, to and, or, or, let's see, Addison Rangel. Uh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Anna B. We'll just call it Anna B. Uh, 810, E Hound yeah. 2, Dear Schuler, Bold Angels, Steve Harrison White, Chazrich, Commander Room. Oh my goodness. Hunsen Pro, C Chef Fritz, DevCon Veteran, L Donin, Exchange SME, Phil Stavid, Hector, HSC, and Ventkin. Ivan, Jan, Joel, KD, oh, KW, K, uh, K McFerrin, Kowski, KT, Makes it 77, Works, Magneticore, Microsoft Developer, thanks for the raid, Mr. TJ12, not Mr. TJ11, Mr. Blackswing, Mr. Mimfu, Palmetto Bling, oh my goodness, Patherat, Pragmatic Tulu, Pretty Toxic, Raise Dev, Rick Yick, uh, or Ray Yick, Ray Yick? Reza, uh, Sam Foley, Scott Metzl, uh, Soral, Shady Panda, SharePoint Madam, Simon, Wen Digital, uh, Soren's here? I didn't say hello to Soren. Ta is here, TBI Bone, VNK, Virgo Pros, Wire Connect, WG Maxwell, Womp Rat 2, and Extra Money. Thanks everybody for joining us. We are raiding. Who are we raiding? Have we figured out who we're, we're raiding? We're raiding InstaFluff. Let's, let's go to InstaFluff. We yeah, are raiding InstaFluff. I want a mug cake. So I want we'll, let's. Let's raid Insta Fluff. Everybody go in and, and, and be loud and raid. I've and, got the raid uh, start we will see Sunday. We will see you Sunday. We need to change our name. So I'm not sure we have to know. See you Sunday, 10 a.m. Pacific time for PC build time. Until then, have a weekend, everybody. We're raiding. Raiding Let's now. Go. We're raiding. Ready, 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 ready. There we go. Ready for there.